DirecTV Drive to the National Championship bus has completed its season-long journey, and now the Crimson Tide of Alabama is trying to complete their season-long journey. Undefeated, and within one yard of putting Texas away with a third and goal and two minutes remaining. Cody leads Ingram. Ingram battles second effort. Touchdown. His second of the night. Shonda, his mother. And we hope that Mark Seeger is able to watch. He, of course, has been incarcerated up in New York. He's awaiting final sentencing. He stays in constant touch with Mark. Passes along coaching tips going through mom. And when we talk about all the Heisman Trophy winners who have struggled in the BCS championship game, you will not include Mark Ingram in that list. He came up huge here tonight. Shook off a hamstring. Whatever it was down on the sideline. Yeah. And, and the, the touchdown, very fitting way for Alabama to put the seal on this because you said it, second effort for Mark Ingram. And how many times in 2009 have we seen that very thing by Ingram? Initially feels a little bit of a presence from Texas, but fights through the corner, Aaron Williams, and eventually lunges in for the, the, the you would think again, the touchdown that puts this out of reach for Texas. And in a night where they got conservative, didn't ask a lot from Greg McElroy, ended up 6 of 11 for 58 yards. They turned to the running game in the tandem tonight of Ingram and Richardson. Senior Lee Tiffin. They await the review upstairs. Doubt. Did you think that it? No, I, I, I think try this to be uh, safe. After further video review, the ball breaks the goal line plane. Kyler Ingram in the gap. It is a touchdown. on another point. Two minutes away from a national championship. Uh, they, they dialed up the blitz at the right time, three, created some confusion on the left side of the Texas offensive line. Upshaw comes up with it inside the five-yard line. And three plays later, the big guy, the Heisman Trophy winner from 2009, Mark Ingram, into the end zone and puts the tie up by 10. Side. I'm enjoying that. So Texas turned it over three times, and Alabama scored 14 points on an intercepted pass for a touchdown. And there are so many outstanding players on this Bama defense, you hardly know where to begin. Marcel Darius, he intercepted the ball man for a touchdown, knocked Bob McCoy out of the game. Lorenzo Washington came up there. Eric Anders moments ago. Orlando McClain has played big all night long. Corey Reamer on that blitz. One after another. And many of them are coming back next year. And with this win, Irving, I predicted Alabama in some polls will go off as the preseason number one. I don't know how they can't be with the players that they have coming back. Dante Hightower will be back from his injury. They'll probably lose the plane to the NFL, but I'm with you. I don't know how you can't have a at number one with everything they have coming back. Well, we're 
reminder now that ESPN will kick off Super Bowl week in South Florida on Sunday, January 31st. McDonald's presents the 2010 Pro Bowl. How's that for a doubleheader? Get out of Miami, watch the Pro Bowl, stick around for a week and catch the Super Bowl. You a fan of the way they've moved the, uh, the Pro Bowl? I like it when it's in Hawaii myself. <laughs> <laughs> but I think, you know, a little change of pace, yeah. and for the business it's going to bring to South Florida. What do you, what do, you do with all the players in the Super Bowl that can't play in the Pro Bowl? They don't like to play that game anyway, between you and me. Stepping away, Gilbert. So, Colt McCoy. And when you think about this year, ladies and gentlemen, remember how the season began? It was Sam Bradford. He was the reigning Eisman Trophy winner. There was Tim Tebow. He won the Heisman in Florida. There was Golden Court. There were the three, the three great quarterbacks. Now, now think about what happened. Sam Bradford, injured against BYU, knocked out by Texas down there as we watch this play unfold with Gilbert. And it's intercepted at the 30-yard line. They get down. The clock will continue to run. That championship trophy is headed back to Tufts. Let me go back about those quarterbacks. And then Tim Tebow suffered that serious injury. I think it was a concussion. Then it was Kentucky where he hit his head. And then here tonight, Colt McCoy in the national championship game. Just an, an unbelievable turn of events with three marquee quarterbacks. Yeah, no question about it. And obviously, the championship game, you hate to see Colt go down. Really been impressed with Gilbert here. He just locks in. And didn't even see Javier Arenas throws it right into his chest. And again, that's just part of being a young quarterback. As soon as he threw it, he knew that he had made the mistake. But Arenas uh, has had a brilliant career in his years in Tuscaloosa. It's fitting for him as much as it is for Ingram for him to come up with a big turnover and get the interception. It's been a long time between championships as Richardson comes in. There's a penalty flag thrown downfield. And you think about Nick Saban. You think about Nick Saban. Base guys. Number 30 in the defense. Kind of the half the distance to the goal line from the end of the run. Automatic first down. Only his third year, the controversy that was stirred up, speaking of South Florida, when he left the Dolphins. And now, Nick Saban did win his second national championship. Remember, he led LSU to a title in New Orleans over Oklahoma. And now here tonight on the strength of a very well-coached, well-recruited defense. The Crimson Tide will be rolling back to Tuscaloosa with their first national championship since 92. And uh, when you think of these two as... Richardson battles toward the end zone. You think about these two coaches, Herbie, they're not going to have to dial up a loan anytime soon. <laughs> these are two of the highest salary in the country. There's Mac Brown, 2009 salary. And look at what Nick Saban came up with tonight. A little $400,000 worth of extra sugar. Now, that's too going bad. good. That's not too bad. <laughs> <laughs> He's a big individual winner tonight. <laughs> And there's Mac Brown, tough night. The team certainly did not quit. They deserve very high marks for hanging in here in the second half. McElroy comes back to Los Angeles. Richardson barges into the end zone. His second of the night. Was there contact there? I mean, that wasn't just Gatorade. That was some plastic. We're, we're coming I mean, this is getting a little physical here, boys. We've had enough of his rules. Bang! We How will. about the Deerfield? We Woo! will right now. That's taking Gatorade shower to a different level there. He <laughs> turned right into that baby. That's one of the all-time best. <laughs> That's for faking the punt early, <laughs> <laughs> Oh, he wouldn't be happy until the game's over. Look, Look at him. He's going to eventually smile. He'll get, he'll, get it going. he'll get it going. When, that, when, it's, when it's all said and done. Oh, he's going to hit the upright. No good. That's no way.